We also found out the real reason why Vince McMahon left so suddenly last week when he said that he was retiring. He did not retire. He resigned. Officially, he resigned in a financial filing. That's how it was listed. He resigned from the company. And the reason he resigned is not because he thought it was time to go feed the ducks and work on his tan. It is because he is now under investigation, not only by the WWE Board of Directors, that inquiry is still ongoing, but now he is also under investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission and federal prosecutors. He beat the government once before, but we all know how fond of rematches he is. He's booked himself in a rematch that may not end well for him. Per the Wall Street Journal, new federal investigations into the deepening hush money scandal enveloping WWE hastened the retirement of its chief executive, Vince McMahon, according to people familiar with the matter. The SEC and federal prosecutors have launched inquiries into payments made by McMahon to settle allegations of sexual misconduct. The company said Monday that it has received regulatory, investigative, and enforcement inquiries, subpoenas, or demands in connection with millions of dollars in hush money packs. WWE disclosed the inquiries in a securities filing, which also said that an ongoing internal investigation had uncovered agreements by McMahon to make payments totaling $14.6 million from 2006 to 2022. WWE said McMahon has or will pay all of the expenses personally. The payments first revealed by the journal should have been recorded in the company's financial statements, This is according to WWE now. The company said that it expects to revise previous financial statements going back to 2019 to reflect the payments. They also said that an internal board investigation expects to conclude that its internal control over financial reporting was not effective as a result of one or more material weaknesses. And the inquiries from regulators and law enforcement show how the scandal over McMahon's personal conduct could put the company's business interests at risk. That right there is is the key line. That's why Vince had to go. Not because he wanted to, but because for the sake of the company, he had to. All of the business partners and the network partners that they have, this thing was only going to get worse. He was toxic to the brand that he helped build. He had to go. It's very simple. I don't understand why some people couldn't see that, but some people are blinded by their own, you know, idol worship and uh, they just don't, they don't think with their heads. They think with their heart. You can't do that. You've got to look at the situation objectively and say, this fucking guy has to go. He can't be around here anymore. So the $14.6 million in hush money and that $14.6 million is greater than the $12 million that was originally reported. So they must have turned up more NDAs in the Uh, board investigation, that money should have been recorded in company financial statements as expenses, and they were not. So he personally paid it, but it wasn't recorded the way that legally it was supposed to be. And now the company has to go back and reissue financial statements for uh, certain years, which opens him up to possible legal jeopardy. It doesn't mean he's going to see the inside of a prison cell, but the fact that it is being looked into by prosecutors and the SEC means that they are taking this very seriously. By resigning, he also had to forfeit over 38,000 new shares of stock that had not yet fully vested, uh, worth almost $3 million, but the shares that he still has still gives him a majority of the voting power. Uh, None of this is going to stop people from being skeptical about whether or not Vince is really gone. Officially, he is. But his daughter and his son-in-law basically run the company now. I'm sure they speak, right? They, they, talk, to, they talk to dad. They talk to their father-in-law. I'm sure that it's not like uh, the lines of communication have been cut off. So if there's something, it wouldn't be very hard if there's something Vince McMahon doesn't like or doesn't approve of for him to text them, for him to call them. If they get together for Sunday dinner, he's sitting at the table and he's going off on something that he saw that he didn't like. Wouldn't be very hard for him to do that. It may be hard for him after being in the bubble for so long to be on the outside without having a voice in it. He's well within his rights to make whatever suggestions that he wants to make. But I do honestly truly believe that he is out of the picture. This is Stephanie and Nick Khan and Triple H's show now to run however they see fit.